what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss about the big problem not big problem it's the big problem it's very big problem <laughs> sometimes we have those big problems what to do about them why do we have the big problems in life <laughs> Not big problems, the big problem. It's so big that nobody can even think of, right? <laughs> Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share this video with your family, friends and loved ones. Or if somebody is having a big problem, also share with them. <laughs> And if you are interested to do some donation for the sustenance of this channel, then you are most welcome. The link to PayPal is there below. You can go there and do some donation or else continue watching this video. Now, who are the people who have big problems? <laughs> Everybody has small, medium or big or very big problems. But I am talking of those people who have big problems, very big. Or at least the projection is like that. <laughs> the Vedic scriptures, especially the Srimad Bhagavatam and the Upanishads, the Vedas, the Puranas, the Tantras, Yantras, all the divine books that we have connected from Lord Vishnu himself and that has come down in the disciplic succession from various sages and saints and rishis and munis like astrology from the great sage Parashara, they inform us that what do they inform do they say this directly no they do not say it directly but they caution us of the biggest obstacle in a person's spiritual journey what is that obstacle it is the obstacle of pride <laughs> And those people who have this in them, <laughs> they are the ones who always face the big problems in life. Because who is a who is a person who has who is afflicted by the disease of pride? Well, you can say almost everybody in today's world, but I am talking of specifically those people who are severely afflicted by this and when i say affliction i do not mean the affliction of any planets of saturn rahu ketu mars i do not mean affliction through planets i mean in their behavior or in their thought process well let me give you a symptom they will always have big problems in life because the opposite of pride is humility. A humble person never has any big problem. Even if he has, he will say it in a way as if it is a very downgraded problem. And even he will not brag or boast about his achievements. But a person who is on the other side, who is very proud of himself, who is obsessed with something that he or she has in himself, these people will always brag, they will always boast about anything. I have seen people bragging about their family lineages. I was the grandfather of, uh, my grandfather was this, my grandmother was that, my father was this, my father was that. I have seen people bragging about their beauty. <laughs> and there was once a girl I met her. In my hometown, Gohati. Very interesting. <laughs> she was a very good looking girl. So then we were discussing about her horoscope. And then she asked me, uh, what will be the traits of my husband? <laughs> I, I, I didn't know how to react when she said that. What she said was, then I told her, okay, he will be like this, he will be like that, he may be doing this, he may be doing that, all those typical things which we say. But then I said, uh, and then she asked me, okay, and what, what will be some of his disqualifications, disadvantages? I said, he is likely to be from a very big family, but he may not be that 
good in looks in his outer appearance he may not be that great i didn't say he will not be good i said he may not be that great like a film star or somebody because people expect them to be like that right and then she said yeah yeah that is obvious i know <laughs> that means she has intrinsically assumed that nobody can be as beautiful as her i am the most beautiful out here <laughs> yes and this these are the people these are the examples who will always have big problems in life let me give you an example of hanuman hanuman we all know hanuman ji right from ramayan the most humble person ever to be seen see it is very easy to be humble when nothing is there with you <laughs> naturally you are very humble that time right that's called conditional humility but true humility is when you have everything when you can do whatever you want and then still you are humble that's called true humility is it understood <laughs> take the example of hanuman ji is perfect for this case hanuman ji there's nothing he could not do he carried the mountain in his palm which was the mount mountain dronagiri parvat right where the herbs the divine celestial sanjeevani booty was there by which they cured lakshman when lakshman was injured by the weapon which indrajit had dispelled towards him and hanuman ji was the one who found mother sita yes he was the one who said to lord ram that yes i have found mother sita but when everybody came to congratulate him oh hanuman you are so great you are the greatest of lord ram's devotees you are invincible you can do anything you are you are the most powerful person hanuman ji doesn't brag there <laughs> hanuman ji doesn't say Yes 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 i have done it and he jumped 100 yojanas towards lanka from rameshwaram from dhanushkodi 100 yojanas he jumped to lanka one jump and that's it he's in lanka he didn't take break there <laughs> and then people said to him oh you jumped the whole ocean and you reached lanka oh, my god you are phenomenal <laughs> and then when he came back when people were telling him this he 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 didn't say yes 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 after all it's me man <laughs> he he hanuman ji very humbly he just said oh what i i don't know i just jumped that's it it's not it's not not a big deal i, I just made a jump and lord ram's blessings I have and I just I just jumped and I reached and I found Mother Sita and I came and gave the news to Lord Ram. That's it. So the biggest lesson that he teaches is keep your profile low because if you do not keep your profile low, you will always have big problems. Who is the person in the Mahabharat who always had a big problem? All all the times he is surrounded by problems. You see. and all the problems are self created problems he is the great duryodhan himself when i say great i do not mean in the eye of the scriptures but i am using sarcasm here for those who understood he always had big problems from the birth itself he the only thing he is having is problems and all are self created he feels the pandavas are his enemies he wants to kill them he wants to insult their wife he wants to sit in the throne the most disturbed person he is the most miserable the most unhappy the most the most troubled person in the entire mahabharat and all the troubles are self created because why he thought he has right to sit in the throne which he never had because he thought he was a big person big person <laughs> so if you think you are a big person then your problems will also be very big 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 problems <laughs> and sometimes people 
call me and tell that sir i have a big problem what is the problem can i know oh i am not finding a girl to get married now that may be true there may be some afflictions to your seventh house or to your venus or there may be thousand reasons for that and it may be true i am not saying that you are lying maybe it is true you are not finding somebody to get married but 99% of the times the problem is there are so many girls to get married but you are not finding the perfect girl of your dreams who is perfect in everything right that's what you are searching <laughs> why because you think you are a big person because a big person has a big wife big wife means she's very beautiful she's very learned she's perfect well keep waiting then <laughs> yes good luck to you similarly there are girls who call and tell me i have a big problem what is that big problem <laughs> oh i am not finding a person to get married such a big problem you know i said but there are so many people no no they are there but they are not matching my level <laughs> so there you see you are a big girl and you have a big problem if you are a humble person you know that okay i am the way i am and everybody has their shortcomings ultimately marriage is about adjustment doing this doing that together learning to see the good side of the person irrespective of how much negativity he or she has and then understanding each other by which you can ultimately go ahead in your life journey together and then you know i have shortcomings so the other person will also have shortcomings i i i may be good in looks i may be good in money i may be good in education i may be good in health but there is there will be something where i fail miserably <laughs> you cannot have everything so similarly the other person will have some positives and some negatives where they will thrive and where they will suffer so a person who is very humble who is very grounded who is very down to earth who is very realistic knows this and then that is why his expectations are also realistic in case of marriage or in case of anything that means he doesn't have a big problem <laughs> and recently there was one fellow who called me he is doing mba masters of business administration or master in business administration the other ways you call it he told me that he is in a certain branch of mba <laughs> and there are so many companies that are lined up well he is studying in uttar pradesh india and he told me there are so many companies which are lined up and there are so many companies coming but due to some reason he is in depression and then i asked him why are you in depression he told me that <laughs> i think you got the answer <laughs> this fellow told me that the only reason i am in depression because the companies for my branch because in mba there are different subdomains right so he said for my subdomain the companies which are coming the maximum package they are offering is only 9 lakhs per annum 9 lakh indian rupee per annum which is actually a big money <laughs> 9 lakhs per year is not an amount to cry for <laughs> it is not that less that you feel that your life has finished and this fellow is in depression from last 3 months so how will i live with 9 lakhs there you see he has a big problem big problem <laughs> not big he has a big problem there you go i am not saying that do not aim to get a company who pays you 20 lakhs 30 lakhs i am not saying that and i am also not saying that do not work and do not aim and do, don't work hard for those companies i am not saying that you settle for a job of 9 lakhs i am not saying settle for 20 lakhs whatever you want you settle 
If you want 30, go for 30. If you want 50, go for 50. I'm not interested in your aim. I'm only interested to know, do you have a big problem? <laughs> so those people who have big problems, the problem is very simple. There is lack of humility. And this is the greatest obstacle in spiritual life. What to speak of spirituality, even on a mundane level and when you are pursuing your material objectives, you have a big problem. So there you go, big problems. That is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries, comments, or if you know anybody who always has big problems, then please give this video to them so that they can also understand their problems are big not big <laughs> all right that is it from my side until next time bye bye see you